Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode three of my Life of a Legionary, the series where I go ahead and join up with the Roman army on the brand new Eagle Rising update, playing as a soldier in the ranks, having no control over the greater strategy, simply just taking down the enemy in front of me and trying to prove myself to the Empress herself. In the last couple episodes, we've been doing pretty well. Honestly, I'm happy with our personal performance. We've been getting kills left right and center however the ai has definitely been struggling because we were losing battle after battle up here in the northern parts of the uh, the empire and then of course the germanians attack last episode taking this fought in the Alps and then pushing down and defeating us in a pretty decisive battle and now they are simply invading Rome itself so yeah things aren't looking too good hopefully hopefully they can muster an army to go and defeat that because it would really really suck if we lost Anaconda right there um yeah Kona sorry Kona right there that would not be good so I think most of the Roman armies are currently situated up here so if we go ahead and rejoin one of them we'll find ourselves a good looking Roman one that can lead us into battle and I guess being part of a major clan wouldn't be a bad idea either uh what does this guy look like yeah i mean he looks okay i kind of like the look of this guy or was there another one yeah this guy this is one of the dudes who i who i said in the first episode looked like an absolute monster so we're gonna join up in his army and hopefully get some stuff done so let's go and continue on and then we'll dive into the uh the next battle as soon as we get into one Oh yeah, one thing as well, because we have been proving ourselves quite dramatically inside of the legions, we can also go and join up as a tier 4 soldier now. So what we can do is if we go over to the weaponsmith, we go to our weapon slots, we can actually go ahead and be a Aquilus Kotolalus gear, whatever it is. So we can basically be... So one thing we can also do as well, because we are a rank 4, we can actually go in and play as this soldier now. So we're basically one of the best legionaries that we can be as the base tier soldier of course we still have optis and centurions and stuff like that to expand to but as of right now this is a really really decent soldier and that's because we got like 60 kills i think in the last battle so let's smash these guys right here it's only a small germanic war band clear out the northern parts of rome and i mean oh it just it just never gets old does it just seeing romans march to battle shields raised and soldiers marching forward are oh, glorious stuff. So yeah, I think the next big objective for us is going to be being like a, a noble troop, whether it is like working our way towards being Praetorian Guard, or I guess just being like an officer in the ranks would be a uh, be a big goal for us. So every kill really does matter. Can we snipe this guy? Oh, he's just out of our range. That was close. That was really close. All right, the boys are now frying Pelham. Hopefully not of the cavalry. I, I wish you could like tell them. Oh my God, our shield's broken already. Okay, let's fall back a little bit. Let's fall back a little bit. There isn't much infantry here. So we should be able to break their shields. Good job, good job. And we should be able to get we should be able to break through this pretty quickly, I would assume. Probably it's better to get the Gladius out. If we're trying to then like get in here, try and find the gaps in the armors where the shields aren't. Like that. Go for that guy. Nice. Good hits right there. Boom. In the head as well. Yeah, they're gonna break very quickly. We've already broken through the ranks. The armored guys are pretty strong, though. Yeah, these, these higher tier soldiers, the officers, that took about, what, four hits to kill him? Definitely way more. Look at the Pelham as well go out. Let's see if we can maybe lob one in. We've got infantry who have flanked the enemy position as well. Okay, yeah, nice. Easy battle right there. I got sniped. Where from? I guess the arrows? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, though, does it? The legions are now upon them. And they'll clear them out. Only three kills for us this time, unfortunately. But still, oh, we were one away from 100 athleticism. That sucks. But yeah, I will take it. You know, any kill is a kill, I guess. As long as we don't get into another battle whilst we're wounded, I'm I'm fine with that. And uh, it does seem like we have amassed some soldiers now as well. So we do have, what, two armies? And we're just gonna we're just going to abandon our settlement in the south? Oh my god, who is leading these commands? I guess, I don't know. Okay, no, no, no. I take that back. I take that back because I am just a simple soldier and it doesn't matter what I think because, of course, the higher ups in the Legion know what they're doing. And this is clearly the plan. I'll tell you the plan. The plan is to cut off the Germanic uh, retreat route, the, uh, yeah, the fallback position. We take this castle and then they're stuck inside of Italy. Oh my God, they took that settlement. Uh, yeah, I mean, they totally meant to. And then they're stuck in Italy and then we just turn around and then we take them out that way. Obviously, you know, then they'll starve there. You know, it doesn't matter if Roman settlements are being pillaged and raided. We'll just, we'll get them in a, we'll get them in a bit, okay? 
Oh, I love this settlement as well. It's really cool. I mean, it's not the great set of, the best settlement for this map because we are in the middle of the Alps, but it does look really cool. Maybe this is like a lake in the Alps. Yeah, it's mountainous, I guess, so it does work. But yeah, this is a really cool settlement because there's so many like archer positions firing down. There's like artillery coming in. Uh, luckily, we're going to absolutely smash the enemy. Uh, they only have, what, 130 men and we have close to, I think, 1,500 with reinforcements. Uh, but of course, minimizing casualties is going to be important. But nice thing is as well is this is a fairly newly raised legion so because this is this legion has basically just been raised uh, a lot of these soldiers are very basic you know a lot of these trios which are our lowest tier legionary so we need to get these guys up to scratch first goal definitely will be to take out this catapult as soon as i get up there i will sh i will lead the men by example as well don't you guys worry i'll be one of the first soldiers into the, the position and yeah as i said i'll be showing the men truly what they should be aspiring to and not as well the garrison is still roman as well um i guess maybe it hasn't changed culture yet if that is a thing but yeah that'd be something really nice that i would love to see them change whether it is on the europe mob map team or if it's on er if it's on eagle rising because it does kind of suck having like uh some roman militia here gone oh god how did i miss that okay let's just be careful then we are slightly outnumbered yeah, I'm actually in a bit of a precarious position. These spears are keeping me at range. There we go. That's what we wanted to have happen. Break his shield. Pull out the other Pelum. And then just... No, oh, he's going to get me there. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. Okay, we need to pull out our sword. This one militiaman's making me look like an absolute amateur. There we go. There we go. Cool. Artillery is now offline. Forward, men. On to glory. I wonder how much damage these fire pots do. Because that guy's got a javelin. I don't want him to hit me because I'm still low on HP. <laughs> yeah, that one javanic is, is not giving up, is he? Let's see if we can snipe him. There you go. Shouldn't have turned your back, mate. All right, now let's fire pot him. Yeah, that does some decent damage. And it also probably levels up my uh, my stats quite nicely. Oh, hello. Yeah, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have turned my back on me either. I think we're breaking through, yeah. I mean, they've got such lowly militia that it doesn't really matter. A bit of friendly fire. Never hurt anybody. Let's hit that guy in the back with the spear. Take him out. Again, we do not want him getting back on this artillery piece, so we'll just keep on clearing it out. And there you go. The boys are overrunning the defenses here now. Let's finish them off. There we go. Perfect. Cool. On to the... Uh, yeah, they're already clearing up the archer position there as well, which is nice. Wouldn't be a bad idea, I guess, to move up to the right-hand side. Don't have any men with me at the moment. But killing these archers will be a good plan of action. There's not many of them left either at this point. And they're all lightly armored. They take a couple hits of a gladius and then they're done. There we go. A few Germanians left as well. Easy. Block that. Stab. Nice. Good job. Good job. A few archers as I said. Main goal here is just not to die. Stay up. Keep ourselves alive so our HP is nice and high. But yeah, okay. The Empire strikes back today. The Empire does strike back. Taking back this Alp Fortress is going to be important. And we can move on elsewhere. Nice. And our throwing went up. Our athleticism went up. We get a little bit renowned as well. Getting renowned is not the worst thing in the world. Because when we do go independent, that's going to be really, really useful. Okay, so now we are heading back. Now we are heading back, I would assume, to Kona to try our best to, to deal with the enemy forces. Because they're even setting up caravans as well outside of here. Yeah, we'll be able to catch. Oh my god, it's actually not a, a small battle. I thought that this would be a, a very easy one. To bring down, but there's yeah, there's actually a handful of soldiers here. Okay, let's get ourselves stuck in then. This episode is literally just battle after battle after battle, and I think this is exactly what we want. Oh my god, look at that guy strut his stuff. Oh my lord, that guy is strutting. Oh, also as well, I will mention this just because if you're a little bit wondering, I have really reduced this mod list um recently, mainly because I've been having a lot of very like annoying and frustrating technical issues like the past month basically with Banner Lord, where my computer will shot off or and I'll lose all my recording and basically just a bunch of really annoying stuff like that. Like uh, you guys would have seen it if you've been in the streams and stuff like that. Um yeah, it's been really frustrating. So this mod list is very minimal. I think that maybe I've sorted it out. I think it was a driver issue with my 4090. I think I've sorted it out. So if I have, I'll start adding in a few more mods back into the game. Like I'd love to add back in diplomacy uh, and maybe back into RTS camera and stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see how things um, kind of shape up when we do, uh, yeah, when we do uh, dive back in and if, if this episode is is all clean and no issues. So we'll use a peel for a little bit. Just go ahead and strike in again. Finding the weak spots in the helmet are really important. That's how you get that one-shot kill with it. Basically, you just like, you thread the needle 
And luckily, again, a lot of these uh, units are lightly armored. It's for higher tier Germanian soldiers that are so scary. And it's when they have the number advantage is when they're so scary. Um, that's, that's how we lost the previous battles it is from when having way more men than us and way more cavalry as well. Yeah, that's always been a big issue. Let's just get these them off them for now. Level up our throwing a little bit. Nice. That's some good damage. The headshots are obviously really good. I think you also get a, a decent amount of athleticism experience as well. Okay, let's strike away now. Get some one-handed athleticism. And it might not be a bad idea. Now that our athleticism is at a decent rate, it's at, what, 100? It might not be a bad idea to actually start leveling up, like, a different stat now in the camp. Oh, that was a good hit to my gut right there with the spear. Let's pull back a little bit. Let's pull back a little bit. Cavalry's doing a good job. Let's maybe shift over to the left-hand side. See if we can maybe get around the flank a little bit. I'm a little bit scared of their archers, but I guess I shouldn't be. We should just move in. If we die, we die, you know? Or if we get wounded, I should say. We get wounded. That guy broke my shield. That was a good throw by him. We need to be careful, though. We don't have a spear and no shield either. I guess we'll try and find a, a shield on the ground if we can. No, we're, we're breaking them. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't even. Yeah, there you go. They're broken. Beautiful stuff, boys. Lovely. You love to see it. Yeah, we're setting them back fully. Yeah, nice. Good job. Good job. I mean, that's nice. That was, a, that was a slaughter, if I do say so myself. We lost 50 men. Uh, well, technically, we only lost 32, 24 wounded. Uh, yeah. Again, the Germanians are only good when they have their quality and when they have their numbers, uh, which they do have. They outnumbered us massively in the initial parts of the war. Uh, nice, about one soldier fleeing. Uh, I think he's going to get away, boys. Okay, let's head down south then. Let's take back Akona, uh, which will be nice. We're still about 1,100 experience off of the, uh, the next rank, which I think will probably be our first, like, officer rank, which will be cool. At rank six, I believe we actually get a, a, a small group of companions as well. So I'll be looking for names of them uh, when that comes. But let's see if we can see if we can do a different uh, a different role for now. God, this man is an absolute monster. Let's do, let's ask if, do, oh no, do we think we can, uh, maybe not. I was going to say, maybe we should drill the troops. But I feel like we're not a high enough rank yet. You know, we're not an officer. We're not an officer yet. There's logistics wouldn't be a bad idea. War strategy as well is definitely above our pay grade. Foraging wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but scouting and uh, I think riding. But I think someone of my rank, I'll just do guard duty. I'll just do guard duty. And that's what currently getting me scouting experience. Okay, I mean, we'll take a little bit of scouting experience. Not going to be my main role, but I feel like that's a nice, like, we're role playing this character and stuff. And I feel like that's a decent rank. Well, to be fair, that's probably like a, a too, too much of a lower rank for me because I'm like the best of the worst, if that makes sense. Uh, but it's fine. Oh, Akona actually rebelled. I wonder how that's going to affect us because technically we're not at war with the rebels anymore, I don't think. Right? Yeah, we're not at war with the rebels who have just uh, risen up against them. But they're not also part of my empire. So, I don't know. And whilst we're here, we might as well... God damn it! I was going to say, whilst we're here, we might as well do the tournament. But I guess not. I guess, I guess we, uh, we, we were too late for that. Man, we've already had like so many battles this episode i'm hoping we get into some more i know so we've returned no, god damn it well, every time every time i'm about to be like yeah let's do the tournament we just run away all right it seems like our castle is under siege again yeah the castle's under siege i guess the germanians have fallen back we need to take back that settlement as well we really do and we're making our way over i don't think 500 men is going to be enough but hopefully there's already another army now we're going back to batavium do they already take it no they didn't already take it but i guess maybe we just don't care about it Maybe we needed some more soldiers beforehand. Yeah, I guess I guess it's not our job. There's already been armies sent there to clear it. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, my lord. So, yeah, they've retook the castle of Meowth. So, now they're besieging Batavian with a thousand men. We're going to need more if we, we, we plan on defeating that. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more soldiers. Oh, my god, we got another. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. The Germanians and their numbers are just insane. Really scary stuff. Uh, and able to do so much damage. I mean, where are our armies? Surely we have more. And we have a couple more, like, army armies. But they've got 2,000 men there. If we have another, like, 500 men turn up, and they, they, they lose soldiers maybe besieging Batavium, then maybe we stand a chance. But as of right now, we are, uh, yeah, things do not look good. Okay, here we are. This is going to be it for sure, right? They're attacking Batavium. They're losing men. We have 1,000 men plus reinforcements. This is where we're going to break them. We're going to move in now. Yeah, I mean, this is what it's all about, right? 4,000 man battle. This is going to be crazy. I'm going to wait a little bit in reserve just for it to become daytime. Uh, boom, yeah. 
Cool. We'll rejoin the battle now again. Not much really changed. They lost about both sides, lost about 100 men. It's just sometimes fighting night battles on YouTube, but it's just brutal. You guys can't see anything. Um, so I'd much rather wait a little bit and fight in the day. Okay, 500 v 500. This is where we're going to make our stand, boys. This is where we're going to get as many kills as possible. I'm actually going to position myself, I think, on the left flank. Yeah, let's go towards the left flank. How much cavalry do they have? Not much. They have their flanking forces, so they have three infantry blocks. I love that RBM does that. I'll mention it every time because it's such a cool change. I really hope RBM continues to do that and creates unique formations for every faction and stuff because that would just be so cool, right? And depending on the tactics level and maybe the general, like that's just stuff, stuff that should just be in Bannerlord in general. Okay, Pelham going out. They, Yeah, so it looks like the Germanians are actually using infantry to fight with their cavalry, which is pretty cool. And we're about to get hit pretty hard in the flank. So I'm going to make my way over here to help the flanking force. It's probably going to be pretty elite. But yeah, I, I'm going to make my way over here to help clear out these soldiers coming in our flank. Because if we can do that, then we can obviously outflank them. So let's maybe throw a peel them at this rider. Oh, we hit him. Didn't kill him, though. It's, oh my god, I'm coming. I'm coming, my boy. There we go. You leave my centurion alone. Oh my god, there's even a, there's even a Roman in these ranks. There's Romans in these ranks. How dare they? How dare they? I, and there's Dacians here as well. I think that's a Dacian right there. I definitely think Eagle Rising should go down the, the route um, that like, In the Name of Jerusalem 2 does and a few other mods where you can only recruit your own culture. Because I think it's, it's always pretty lame seeing like Romans inside of like Germanic war bands and stuff like that. So I do, I do hope that is something that they, they plan on changing. There we go. We're getting some good hits off him. This guy's like one hit now. It's hard to break his armor. It really is. The fight. Oh, it, the fight's going well in our favor, though, which is good. Nice. We're working as a team here as well. We need to work as a team to break these guys down. Nice. That flank. This flank's broken. Okay. We're going to reinforce now. This is perfect. Yeah, we're going to go hitting into their flank. Whoever wins, wins the flanks. Wins the battles, basically. There's still javelins going around somehow. Yeah, look at that. We're like really wrapping up this flank now. We're able to really get him. Luckily, that glanced off my armor. Yeah, we're completely wrapping up this flank. The cavalry's coming in as well. That's nice. And one thing we can do as well with this series, uh, we don't just have to always be infantry as well. If you guys want to, and again, let me know in the comments because it really comes down to, I read all the comments, so it really comes down to how much you guys want to see it. Um, but yeah, let me know. And if we get enough people saying yes, then next episode we'll join the cavalry. And then maybe the episode after that, we do infantry again. And then again, the episode after that, maybe we join the archers, you know? And we basically just kind of keep things spicy rather than being the infantry every single time. So do let me know. Again, put, put it down in the comments. Yes, I want to see you join the infantry or the archers or the cavalry. Um, and I'll do it. I'll do it for sure. Okay, our secondary charge now. It looks like these are just all archers. Why are there so many archers here? Yes, yeah, it's just light infantry and archers. Have we killed a very elite so far? Oh, I feel sorry for them if we have. Yeah, they've got a few infantry acting as like a support force, but we're cutting everyone else down. Look at that go. I mean, this is great because this is a, a massive Germanian army. A really big one. And we need, we need a good victory here because we have not had a good victory against the Germanians. And I imagine the Senate is not happy with us. Good, I got his horse as well. That was such a nice strike. Good job, boys. Keep on pushing. Can I get this guy as well? No, unfortunately, he's going to escape my grasp. Are they just not spotting reinforcements? I don't think their reinforcements are coming. Oh, no, there you go. Reinforce, their reinforcements have just arrived. Okay. But if we can take out these archers, that's going to be a big blow to them. That really is going to be a massive blow. But it seems like a lot of their strength comes in these archers. And right now, oh, I'm pretty I'm pretty bad myself right now. The cavalry's coming in as well. Let's fall back so we're with, with the rest of our boys. Yeah, let's fall back, fall back. Get off him! Yeah, we're well, nice. We, we dealt with the archers if they're falling back. That's perfect. Cavalry's still a bit of an issue. We've got more reinforcements. So yeah, just finish off these, these stragglers. I mean, I guess we need to try and reform. Downsides of being so aggressive with our army is that our reinforcements are very far away. I don't even know where they are. We're basically just stuck with these guys. But hey, we're, we're going to just try and put as much pressure on the enemy archers. Because these are basically free kills. They're lightly armored. Obviously, they're much faster. And they can output a lot of damage if they're protected. But they're not protected. And right now, they're fighting heavy infantry. You know, not just light infantry, just not like skirmishers. They're fighting the best infantry in the game. So we're going to be able to deal with them very quickly. 
It's just a shame we don't have any cavalry. Like the Roman cavalry, I don't know where they are. But they're not they're not faring well, I guess, against the Germanian horses. Okay, oh, I went down though. The archers got me. Yeah, I mean, it's always going to be an issue, right? It's always going to be an issue. There's like, there's like multiple battles going on. There's like a fight over here. There's a fight over here with the enemy infantry, the archers. The cavalry are engaging. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice. I, I don't know if they're going to bring in the rest of their reinforcements. Because this is such a decisive victory. We're killing three to one right now. This is such a decisive victory. They are spawning in more. They are bringing in some more. Back up to 400 by the looks of it. And they're, they're, they're I guess, starting to reassemble their, their formation as well. Their infantry are now here protecting their archers. Our reinforcements are slowly getting here. But again, it's a lot of low, lower tier soldiers. But we do get more Pelum, so that's not a bad idea. The river is definitely causing us some issues, though. Oh, no, they're, they're breaking. They're breaking. 400 men have now run from the battlefield. Victory is ours. Cool. Rome is safe. Rome a victor. The most stupid things, though, about Battle Lord. I ha like, I don't even know how. This is just like one of. This is like a total war level of stupidity right here. It's like they retreated from battle, right? Like they retreated. They, they were like, no, we don't want to fight in this battle. But when we leave the battle, you then just have to fight fight them again like you just engage them again even though they tactically retreated from the battle they're then still technically in a battle so then you just fight again like how stupid is that what's the point of them retreating in the first place oh we can't fight because we're wounded but what's the point of fighting in the first place if you can't retreat like retreating in the first place if you can't retreat because you then just get put into a battle immediately afterwards like that is just like such a brain dead like thing i feel like that's something like total war would do um uh, it's just so stupid so stupid so here we are we've proven ourselves a fine warrior and for my bravery we've been leveled up so we are now rank um yeah so we just have to order resolve this one because we're wounded um but yeah nice what we rank five now boom and that's a good battle yeah we are rank five awesome so what does that mean what does that mean for uh for us as a soldier right so what can we be now? So we Aquilus is for highest rank there. And then over here, we can be an Optii or a Vexilius. Okay, cool. So we are now really starting to get in the ranks. So I guess I guess we'll be a, a flag bearer for an episode. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's keep the glory of Rome up. I feel like we haven't quite... Wait, is, is the flag bearer the rank up from an Optii? I can't remember because the Optio is obviously, you know, the Centurion second in command. Like, he's the his right-hand man. But I'm not sure if the Banner Carrier is considered a higher rank than him or not. I actually don't know. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to, to read that. Because, again, it's been so long. Normally, most of my Roman ranking history comes from the uh, Simon Scarrow books. So, um, yeah, and it's been so long since I've read them. It really has been. Oh, nice as well. We actually got quite a bit of charm uh, experience. That's good. I like that. Uh, okay, yeah, so we can probably get definitely more influence from battle. Influence from battle is definitely always the one you want to go. Um, and then, I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea to start investing some other skills. Like, yeah, let's just continue to get our poem up. Because the higher poem we get, the better the pilum is going to be in our hands as a thrusting weapon rather than a throwing weapon. So, we'll take that. Okay, cool. And I, I guess this is a battle we just don't need to fight. We've already had plenty of battles, and this one's going to be a fairly easy one. So, yeah, I mean... We reclaimed our lands, which is not a bad idea um, that we've managed to be able to... Oh my god, are they actually going to be able to take this one? We are losing a lot of men here. We're losing a lot of men here for a settlement that if we fought, we'd lose about 10. There we go. Okay, cool. But the, the most important thing is that we have absolutely smashed the Germanic armies. We just killed 2,000 Germanians. So that should at least count for something. And we're going on the offense, are we? Why not? I mean, maybe we're going raiding. I know. Okay, we're going to fall back and probably rebuild our army, which I imagine we need it. But yeah, now we are the next rank. It's probably not a bad idea as well to maybe look for a different... Like, foraging supplies probably is too low for us. Managing logistics now? Yeah, let's do managing logistics. Let's do that. I don't know what that gives us, right? That gives us stewardship experience. Well, I don't actually have any points in stewardship. But yeah, I mean, I feel like that's quite fitting of our rank now. You know, we, we're now a banner carrier. We can be a bit more of a logistician. And here we go. Another battle with Germanians. Wow, we are just relentless. They're just relentless. Uh, yeah, let's... I mean, we could wait for more reinforcements. Let's wait. There's no reason to... To, to do anything too crazy. Let's just go in. Like, we're, we're losing these wars. So I'm going to take every advantage that Rome has to offer. And oh, baby. Look at that. Macro is now carrying the banners. We've got javelins. 
Nice. I wonder if this acts as a shield as well in battle. The Germanians are currently held up inside of a forest. And I mean, what's the worst that can happen about us going inside of the forest, right? Like, you know, I don't think anything in history has been bad of Romans marching inside of a forest to battle, you know? Like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. There's definitely only 338 of them. Well, I guess 336 of them now. Okay, there they are. I'm going to sit... I'm going to go a little bit further back. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay. I'm going to sit a bit further back because they have a lot of archers and we don't really have a shield. Uh, they're also going to be a lot of javelins. I mean, we're going to throw peel them down the hill of them. That should be pretty nice. Any more cav? Any cav? Any cav? No. Yeah, so we need to be careful here because, yeah, a lot of their archers and javelins are going to be... Oh, that's very painful. But we have six javelins as well, so let's stop throwing these bad boys out. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna go down pretty quickly, I think, to these archers because the AI really does focus for player with its archers. And not having a shield is going to be pretty bad. Yeah, these javelins actually do a pretty good job. Oh, we sniped that horseman. Any more? Any more? No. Let's keep that banner high. Keep the men rallied as best as we can. And yeah, the cavalry hammer and anviling behind them. That's going to be more than enough to kill them. Keeping an eye out for enemy cavalry. Keeping that banner shown as well. That's what the boys need. We'll throw, throw a javelin or two in as well. We only have one left, actually. There you go. Uh, we can still pick up more. Throw back the Germanic javelins, even though it's a crude weapon. Still a weapon, nonetheless. Try and take care of any uh, horses that are here as well. Like any cavalry that gets stuck in. Um, but yeah, let's just get around the flank and help out with everybody else. Because we still are equipped with a decent weapon. That's not a bad Germanian weapon, yeah. Oh, we literally took an arrow. We literally took a javelin to the there and went down. Yeah, maybe this roll isn't the best for us because the AI does dramatically focus down the player when it comes to like javelins and arrows and stuff. So maybe we should go. Maybe we should have a, a short lived, not very distinguished level of a uh, of a uh, <laughs> of a flag bearer. And maybe we now rank up to the rank of Opti. Okay, that wasn't the great, the best battle in the world because we weren't able to uh, to really get much experience, but still, that's fine. And then what we pieced out, yeah, okay. So we didn't really gain anything from that war, um, but we also didn't lose anything from the war either. So I, I mean, we did actually. We lost. We lost Kona, uh, which is not a good a good look for us. Hopefully, we just declare war on the rebels and we deal with them that way. Oh, a little battle here against um, uh, some roaming uh, the old guard. Yeah, I guess some roaming rebels. Let's deal with them. And hopefully this battle isn't too dark. Um, I know if anyone does know as well of the mod that does make uh, the battles always daytime, I don't think that's been updated for 1.2.8, but if it has, please do let me know in the comments because I'll grab it immediately. Oh my god, that's a lot of javelins. That is brutal. I can't wait until we are commanding the the soldiers and we can basically just um tell everybody to hold fire until we see the whites of their eyes and then we just unleash a volley of like brutal uh, uh you know brutal peel and fry, fry fire at the enemy that's gonna look so goddamn cool isn't it luckily this battle is gonna be a bit easier because we are simply just fighting uh, other romans and we don't really tend to have many archers so that means I'm not going to be focused down by, by by archers. So I can actually get some damage in this battle. Pretty nicely, actually. Especially if we can kill any of these this cav. Or any of the other infantry. There we go. Yeah, we're getting some experience here. Okay, cool. So maybe, maybe this was the battle which we rank up to an Optio. And there's really not many of them left already. Like We've, we've pretty much cleared out. Yeah, it's just cavalry left and a few routing soldiers. I mean, we we're always going to win that. But again, it's still really good experience for us. So... We're not going to complain too much. We'll take the free experience and we'll we'll continue on the battle. Um, because, yeah, now we have a bit of peacetime. And we're tier 5, right? Tier 6, I believe. Um, yeah, tier 6, we end up with some extra... We actually get some a small group of soldiers to help support us, which is good. Our stewardship is going up. I should probably stick the next level up into stewardship just to get a bit more experience uh, in that. Um, but, yeah, let's, 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 let's rank up. Why not? Like, we will be... Yeah, let's be an Optio. Why not? We will help lead the men. We'll lead my small little cohort into battle. Cool, we did level up as well. Literally, as I said, but so we can stick this focus point in stewardship just to start getting it. Again, chances are we're going to get a stewardship to come help us. At, like, a, sorry, a steward companion to basically do, be our steward when we go independent. Uh, well, I say independent when we join the Romans. Um, but until then, it's not like it's never bad to have someone 
uh, to have decent stewardship skills. Because there's, there's good points there. And if we're just gaining it passively, again, that's always a, a big plot. Oh no, we've been ambushed. We've been ambushed by something. I don't know quite what. I think it's just a uh, bandit. Oh my god, look at us as well in our Optio gear. Let me get onto the right flank. Let me get... Is it right or left? I can never remember. Is it right or left? It's left. It's left, right? Left is the most dangerous position. In is it left? Is it right? I can't remember. Le okay, you guys need to get me up to scratch quickly. I can never remember. It's left-hand side, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the left-hand side is always the most dangerous. So that's where the, the officers go to prove themselves. Yeah, it's all just cavalry as well. Or is it a right? Or is it like the left is always... They always try and they always try and support their left by terrain. And the right is the most dangerous. God, my Roman history has really gone downhill. I'm not going to lie. I used to know this stuff off by heart. I could just renounce it. And now I'm in my 30s, in my old age. I, I am well and truly... Um, well and truly a cretin. Okay, let's deal with some of these guys. Any horses we can kill? Oh my god, they're throwing rocks at us. This peasant rebellion is going to absolutely just get ruined uh yeah these these poor peasants are fighting a pure might but it's kind of cool right but like you know this is this is literally like a peasant rebellion and we're just putting it down they've sent in a a cohort of of brave men to go deal with this little rebellion and that's exactly what we're doing that's exactly what we are doing Let's also obviously get some experience here by throwing peel them in. We're gonna make sure we try and get some throwing experience. Because you can get some really Oh my god, this guy over home is coming at me. Yeah, thank you, cavalry. Oh, that was a good shot as well. Yeah, every bit of experience we get is great. And they're actually able they've been able to take down eight men. Eight brave Romans have died in this foolish rebellion. Disgusts me, honestly. It really does. But yeah, we'll be able to punish them. I'm sure these anyone who does survive this little rebellion will face some horrible consequences to say the very least yeah there you go boom that's them taken care of let's uh, pick up a javelin oh, I'll absolutely nail one of these guys trying to get away but, oh, only 67 damage oh that sucks okay take you out you're gonna survive and there you go rest of them the rest of them are down now it's just for cavalry we know we did get 22 kills here which is pretty good these are all very low tier, tier soldiers and if you don't know how so serve as a soldier works is the higher tier soldier you take down the more experience you get towards the new rank and because these guys are all like, like tier one looters and pillagers and stuff like that they're going to be worth like a handful of experience whereas killing like an officer or a general that's going to be worth like the big bucks nice clear battle one up pretty perfectly as i said 22 kills but yeah not really going to be uh going to be too great uh, in the experience game, but hey, it kills and kills, and we still get good experience from it, so it's not really uh, the end of the world. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, not awful. We're, like, not that far off, um, honestly. We're still building up quite a bit of money as well, so ideally, what we want to do when we get enough money is we want to ask for leave, and then we want to go and buy a workshop. I think we probably need about 40k, and then we want to go and buy a workshop somewhere, so we're, we're getting passive income from whilst we're on campaign. Uh, which is going to be good. I and mean, eventually, of course, when we hit rank 7 or 8, I think it is, we actually do get offered to become a lord. We get landed, uh, which is quite cool. Um, I don't know why we're setting sails now as well. Um, I do also hope that we do fight Carthage. It'd be really fun to fight Carthage over Sicily and maybe even invade Africa. That'd be a really fun next war. We'll have to see uh, what kind of shapes out. Also, taking a look at the other factions. Well, we have our Romans. So uh, the, the Black Romans aren't at war with anybody and the Blue Ones... Aren't at war with anybody. The Germanians, I imagine, just pieced out. Now, the Germanians are at war with the, the Scythians. Okay. So they're fighting a, an eastern war, border war. And that's probably why they're pieced out. The Dacians aren't at war with anybody. I guess the Carthaginians aren't at war with anybody? Yeah. No, Carthage aren't at war with anybody either. Interesting. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, all of them sides are probably just on a big, like, recruitment drive at the moment. Okay, we're finally here. Let's do the tournament. Let's do the tournament I talked so much about. Because we have the stats to easily win this now. And again, gain us a bit more money, uh, which is nice. I think we also actually... Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a lot of PLM. I think we also gain some renown as well uh, from winning these tournaments. Which is actually not a bad way of, like, being a decent clan rank. When you get up to the higher, the higher positions. Yeah, don't worry. It's just a practice weapon. Don't worry. That guy definitely didn't just die in the arena. It'd be really cool if they got in some custom arenas as well. I mean, I guess you could just use... Yeah, maybe you could just use the custom arena mod. There's a really good one out there. Um, and again, it's a shame because I, I, I will probably start gradually adding in more mods as long as my PC stays stable. Because that's been the biggest problem, the biggest, like, annoyance, I guess, for this series. 
Oh my god, where's my lord? I can't defeat him, can I? I can't defeat him in battle. Someone else finish him. Someone else finish him. Is that like, I haven't been able to have as many cool mods as I would like. Just because of like all my PC issues. But hopefully, I've, I've, I've found it out it was a driver issue. And we can just sort it out that way. And, and then, you know, and then it's all good. I can then slowly start to add more mods. Oh my god, I went right for his legs or her legs. Yeah, I can just then slowly start adding more, more mods to it. That don't obviously break the game, and yeah, we're all we're all in a good situation. Oh my god, I haven't got a shield. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I mean, I let you in. You are, I think you are the Empress's daughter, so I I, I let you in. Who won? Get yeah, none of the lords won as well. Just some random legionary and them executed. But okay, I think that is where we're going to wrap things up. I think that's a good place to wrap things up for this episode. We fought some pretty intense battles throughout this series. Oh, sorry, throughout this episode. And now we're at peace. I'll probably play a bit more of a peacetime off camera uh, for next episode. I hope if you guys are enjoying this, drop a like, drop a comment down below. It really does help out the channel. It goes a very, very long way. Let me know as well if you think I should do some more cavalry stuff next episode or maybe being an archer for an episode. Again, just let me know. Put that down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.